I don't think there's much better of a way to start your day out than a fresh warm bagel from your local bagel shop. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have something that I've never done planned, but we have to go grab and get a haircut and then I'll explain to you guys what we're doing. We are going somewhere very special, somewhere I've never been with a freaking amazing company. So I can't wait to bring you guys along. About to run in, get my mullet freshened up and this haircut is literally perfect for where we are going. And you know what? I'll tell you, we're going to NASCAR. We're going to NASCAR in Phoenix, Arizona this weekend with Valvoline. I can't express, this is like a dream come true. Am I into NASCAR? Not really. Do I like race cars and having fun and partying? Hell yeah. So I'm super excited that they invited me out for this weekend. We get to hang out with Kyle Larson tomorrow, who is one of the team Valvoline drivers. Check out his new livery. Hopefully check out all their organization, car setups, etc. I'm gonna get a little nerdy, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And then we are meeting up with Chris from KN and a few other friends on Sunday for the race. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I truthfully don't know what to film when I'm home. The JZX stuff isn't doing great, so the next video you guys see with that will be the first freaking start. I'm done. I dragged it along for too long. I just want to give you guys some, some good progress. So the next time you see that car, it will be running. As far as the E46, we have an engine secured. So that is freaking massive. We have to take a trip in a few weeks to go pick it up, but we have it in the process, which is amazing. So let's run in, get the mullet freshened up for NASCAR, baby. Lounge was a success. I ended up having a pass I could use uh, through a credit card I have. Anyway, let's get on this freaking flight, get to Arizona, and I'll explain exactly what we're doing. Good morning. Oh, I'm fired up. First time in Phoenix. First time in Arizona, actually. And it looks absolutely beautiful out. So, gonna run, grab some food, and we're heading right to the damn track. Just got my essential NASCAR ticket. Jeff, what is this ticket good for? So that gives you access to pretty much all of the garage areas and everything around. Um, it's a media pass, gives you access to some areas that other folks don't have access to. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna be spending this weekend with Jeff and Connor from Valvoline. So if they are cool with it at some points, they might be on camera. You could say yes or no, but Jeff has been working with NASCAR for 24 years, you said, right? Yeah, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for <laughs> letting get my age out here. Great. But he is going to be the perfect person to be completely honest, for both Connor and I to be around this weekend because I told I you guys, race. I don't know, pardon my French, I don't know shit about NASCAR, but I like race cars. So having someone that knows what they're talking about or at least is confident in what they're speaking about is gonna be huge for this weekend because I want to show you guys as well as learn myself. So we're gonna be bothering you all weekend, Jeff. All right, we made it. Where are we, Jeff? <laughs> Welcome to the infield. So these guys haven't got, well, they're out on pit road getting ready to practice, that's why. One thing you want, you, he's talking about five lug tires. Yeah. So these are the old school five lug tires. Okay. That NASCAR raced for years and years and years until now the Cup Series went to single lug tires. And they're 15s too. These are 15s, NASCAR now runs 18s. So this is the lower series model, but this is exactly what NASCAR ran for probably 30 or 40 years. So I think the plan for today is we get to check out the Hendrix Kyle Larson rig, right? Yep, yep. we're gonna check out the rig. We're gonna talk to Kyle. Uh, we're gonna check watch, out the cars. Check out the cars qualifying. and watch some qualifying. Yeah. Sick. Oh, this is so good. I'm so freaking pumped to be here. Thank you again, Valvoline, for bringing me out here for this. And it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as I can because this is something that I know a lot of you probably don't know 
knocked about either. Thankfully, we have the professional Jeff here to help us through the day because we're gonna need it. There it is. Cool. I freaking love the smell of race fuel in the morning. The best. I think kind of sounds like my E36. <laughs> Okay, so we are in the pits here in Phoenix with Kyle Larson. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? What's up? You just got a new livery on the car too, right? Yeah. So Babylene's our primary sponsor for this race at Phoenix, and it's a little bit switched up from what we've had the last couple years, so yeah. um, I think it looks really good. I was telling them, my plan, and my viewers don't know this, but my plan is to do a Valvoline livery on my new drift car as well, so. And I'm not just saying this because Valvoline brought me here. It's truthfully like yeah. such a rad look. Yeah, and their brand is like, I love having Babylon on the car because their brand is so big and like they've been involved in racing for so long. Yeah. That tying it all together and, and getting to have sick, you know, paint schemes or liveries as you guys call them. Is, yeah. uh, is he, you guys call them paint schemes? I do. I feel like most of the, the, the redneck NASCAR garage calls them <laughs> paint schemes. So That's like cool. I'm doing some IndyCar racing this year and I had to do, you know, some media stuff and they're like, oh, take a look at our you know, we're going to unveil our new livery for this year. And it was just like weird for me to say that word. I've never said livery You're before. You're like, what so. the hell are you talking yeah. about? So, no, no it's, it's cool, man. It makes it sound more sophisticated. And I asked you this off camera, but complete transparency. I don't know anything about NASCAR. What do you think, and you don't have to answer this if you're not allowed to, but what do you think about the new cars? Um, The new cars, well, selfishly, uh, at Hendrick Motorsports, the old style car, we like dominated in 2021. Okay. So selfishly, I would like that car back. Yeah. But um, honestly, I, I think I am fine with these cars. I think for the sport, it's better. You know, you, you don't necessarily know who's going to win um, most weekends now, or at least there's more, there's a bigger variety of guys that can win now, yeah. which is good. The racing on the mile and a half racetrack is much better. Honestly, the leaders kind of at a disadvantage sometimes because it wears the tires out more, like in that you know more downforce state. Yeah. So short track stuff like Phoenix, Martinsville, Bristol, like the racing's a lot worse. Yeah. So I mean, you have like your pros and cons yeah, to okay. it, but um, the parity is much better now. So I think for the fans. Makes it a better it's, race. It's, it should be better. I have one more question. So I know the new tires are have a smaller sidewall. Yeah. Does that? Do you notice that? I, when we first went to this style, I think we've all adapted to it now. Yeah, but like yeah. The edge, the way I describe it, is like the edge from grip to no grip is much sharper. So oh, like in okay. the beginning, the, the first you know few months we got to running these cars, like people would just spin out on their own, like really easy because <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you're used to like the old car, you could like find that edge and kind of live yep. within it. And then like when we went to this car, like you you get to that edge and then it's just gone. That's great. Um, so more like yeah, like any car style, like yeah. you see people just lose it you know, quickly. So we're like that now. So did the. Did you run a lot of rollover on the old tires? Like, would you would you run the tires down on the sidewalls or not really? I mean, if you talk to the crew chief, they would say yes, we would do yeah. that more than we probably could on this. But when I think about like my sprint car, yeah, yeah. like on the dirt track, those, you know, they're running like, we'll run like nine pounds of pressure in the right rear tire when yeah. these are in, you know, some places are in the 50s. So, oh, yeah, so yeah, you're not, you're not into the sidewall of punch at all. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. time, man. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, Get another podium. Yeah, That'll yeah, be good. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Where are we, kind sir? So we're right now. We're in the main. We're at the bottom floor of the trailer. Uh, right. This is the working parts of our trailer. Uh, we've got anything and everything we need to keep that car going. Behind you here, we've got our radios. This is a race this car is kid's all, dream. You know this that? This is all. Yeah. This is just oh all my. team radios. These are already out on the generator for the for the boys now, getting ready to go out and qualify. Yeah. So all I all I want is like a forty foot enclosed. I don't need one of these. But oh yeah, no one kidding. One yeah, we all, yeah, nice. we all do. Yeah. Well, it's you know anything anything we would need. One, uh, you know, nut bolt wise. Oh my you got, God. You got. You got. It better be. <laughs> yeah. If somebody says you know I need this size bolt, I know right where to go get it. You know. Wow. Decals. We've got certain decals up here. If he 
the kid likes to get up against the wall yeah, and he'll yeah. scuff it. So you know which ones you so need. So I, you know, I, I got a you know whole right quarter, hundred cars. You know, you got you got Phoenix patch kit. Oh, you know, that's they, so funny. You just might get up there and touch it. We gotta yeah. make it look pretty. Yeah, for you somebody, gotta make you know? it look pretty. Yeah. yeah. So is this your baby? Is this your truck? This is this has been my trailer since fifteen. So this was brand new. 14 okay. we put it it got put into service 15 my first year yeah so this was yeah this has been a 48 hauler for jimmy johnson okay i was on the team the crew chief was on the team our car chief jesse was on the team then we you know jimmy retired and then we got kyle yeah it's still this is still our same trailer this is, okay this is the one we've worked out of so yeah. all these spare parts stickers these hardware are, this, is, this is our shop our shop area area yeah. okay just no pictures but these are all this is where they take care of all the shops they've got all the parts springs anything like that okay you know cool I mean? yeah, yeah the road cruise lockers and then up there at the lounge is where okay. the crew chief engineers they do all the magic drivers everything yep. yeah Kyle's up there cool too. and then obviously upstairs upstairs we got two cars yeah okay and then we've got spare motor here Hopefully you never need it, but <laughs> we got it. This is freaking just, nice. like I say, road crew lockers. Yeah, just it's really cool. Yeah, man. I really appreciate Anytime, it. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. this is awesome. It's yeah, it's it just give it. Do you know why I look like looking at stuff like this? I'm like, I have a problem with organizing. Like I love organizing yeah. everything in my shop. And just seeing how things are laid out, just the little tabs with the the nut and bolt yeah. size and the walk. <laughs> But it's good. That's how it's a sickness. But you need it to, is you an need absolute it to be efficient, sickness, right? But I'm the same way. It's like one little thing, you know. It's because I tell everybody, like my friends give me a hard time, right? But I'm like, you could have all the shit in the world, but if you can't find it, then what's right. the point of having exactly. it, right? That's exactly so, right. And when somebody says, "Hey, man, I need a quarter twenty, fine." Yeah, you run in you here. Know exactly I know, where it I is. know what drawer yeah. it is, and and you go to it. But yeah, I love it's, it. It's cool. We. I, Man, I wouldn't do nothing else. Yeah, no, that's sweet. Thank you again, man. <laughs> yes, I appreciate sir. it. Good luck this All weekend. Right, Thank you. All right, so they're just getting ready to go out for qualifying. Uh, we actually bumped into Bowman, too. A lot of you guys know him. He's a drift dude, but he also races NASCAR. So we'll see if we can go mess with him, too. But this has been so sick, and it's literally just the beginning of the day. So I. it's the freaking coolest shit ever. But all the cars are starting to line up to go out for qualifying. They had to go through tech and all this stuff last night and then they lock the pits down so you are not allowed to go into the pit like none of the team is allowed to go and even look at the cars so these things are freaking wild looking though This is crazy. I feel like this isn't, I'm not trying to flex here, but I feel like this isn't a thing that that many people get to do. No, this is a pretty special moment. Yeah, it's, yeah, this is, yeah. This is really freaking cool, man. Walking down pit road with the Valvoline car that just won last weekend. The team won last weekend, yeah. I can't express how crazy this is that we're just allowed to walk down pit road with the team. There's no one else out here. This is, how the hell did I get myself in this situation? Look at this. Great track right there. Pit spot. The boys on Team Valley. Listen, I don't want to make this a sales pitch, but this is so cool and I would not be able to do this without Valvoline's help. So. I can't thank them enough. This is the freaking coolest thing ever, man. Truthfully, it really is. I hope you guys enjoy it because I know that not that many people get to experience this and I'm trying to show you guys everything. Cleaning the track off, getting ready. 
ready for the boys to go out. So we've been walking down pit road while everybody qualifies. And I'd say we're only about five or six cars maybe until Kyle takes off and takes off. So I don't know if we're gonna be allowed up there, but we're gonna try. That had to be one of the coolest days I've had. Obviously not being in the race car and just getting to experience it was absolutely incredible. And it's not even race day yet. So tomorrow we have the craziest access. We get to sit in the pit boxes on pit road, like unbelievable. I'm gonna grab some food here, rest for the rest of the day. And it's right back to the track in the morning. Whew. Good morning. I cannot express to you guys how excited I am for today. Running a little bit late on my end, so let's head down to the car and meet the boys. Head over to the racetrack, baby. Welcome back to the racetrack. We have just been walking around all morning waiting for everything to start going, but we came up, Jeff wanted to show us what it looks like from the grandstands and it this is a sick view it makes you could kind of tell how small the track is from here but take a look I know a lot of NASCAR tracks you can't see the whole track from one area but it is pretty cool from this grandstand you can see the entire track so we will be sitting on top of the freaking pit box on pit road so Shout out Valvoline, this is so freaking cool. I can not wait. So we're gonna hang out here for a few and then we're gonna walk across the track back into the pits, get the freaking day started. We are out on the racetrack. You can see the line these dudes run. They run right up the wall. It's so rad. Right up there. All right, let's go back into the pits. All right, a little while later, and we ended up meeting up with Paco, Corey, and Chris from KN, the whole crew. Uh, hey, we're running V8 out here, brother, <laughs> America, brother, V8. So, hanging out with them for a little bit. All right, once again, Jeff takes us to a place I didn't even know we could come. The only place I can't get Grant today is a seat of a race car. <laughs> As much as he's tried to get me in one in this whole weekend, that's the only thing Connor and I can't get done is actually putting. Connor, in put in a good word for me, okay? Oh yeah, we'll do. <laughs> Next race. Next race. So walking down pit road, this is where all the cars come in. Fuel ups, tire changes. What else do they do on pit road? A lot of it is soda. Okay. They'll, they'll put soda on the, on the pit stop on the ground so that the, when the tire changers and a jack man come around the car they don't slip on the pavement because you can feel right here how slick the pavement is now you go step on that and you basically it's not it's not much different than like a basketball player uh when he's on the shoes on uh yeah wait so you said they'll put soda yeah, they'll like spray, like coca-cola something like that juice, dr pepper soda, doctor, yeah mountain a lot of dew. times you'll oh, see, they probably use mountain dew a lot of right? times you'll see guys with a coke and they'll just drill a little hole in it and then yeah. I'll just walk around and spray it. I cannot express how freaking loud it was there today. 
I wasn't allowed to film in the pit box and it was so loud even if I was able to film you guys wouldn't be able to hear anything you I you obviously can tell how loud it is from the clips I posted before we finally made it back to the hotel room and we're here for tonight and then we leave tomorrow morning so we're gonna go out to dinner with all the boys that you saw from the track earlier Chris and Paco and Corey so I'm gonna go get some Korean barbecue with them finish up this video and then we're back home to work on the cars so thank you guys so much for watching thank you to Valvoline Hendrick Motorsports Kyle Larson Racing for allowing me to invade the pits for the weekend this was an experience of a lifetime and I'm so grateful that I was able to do it it truthfully was so sick see you guys in a couple days thanks again for watching good night Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I can find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching You're just what I'm Times are getting